now I am very excited to have the next lady on my show. I've been trying to get her on for the last year, and I've got her on. She's got a brand new album, brand new single. Let's say hello to the one and only. Hello, Denise Pearson. Hello. Hey there, sweetheart. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic, thank you. Running around, doing stuff, but great. I was going to say, it must be manic for you, because um, next month you're going to have your, your first ever solo album. Yeah, that's correct. Oh. It's it's um, my first ever debut solo album, and it's called Imprint, and it's it's, it's since 30 years ago with Five Star. So, um, yeah, this is the first album, and I'm very, very excited about it. Now, I mean, how long did it take you to kind of put this together? Because I imagine you, you must have had so many songs written from years ago. And I guess, is this kind of a compilation of a lot of stuff you've written over, uh, you know, a certain amount of years? Yeah, yeah, actually, um, it's been quite a while. Um, I, I did go on some writer's retreats in Gothenburg uh, and wrote some of the songs there. And also uh, new new songs of, of my my new, uh, of my journey right now. Uh so yeah, it's been it's been a couple of years. Now, was it kind of enjoy you know enjoy, enjoying d doing this? Because I mean, it was your first ever solo album. So how did you find the experience? Was it fun? I mean, was it scary at times? How did you find it? I, I think it was all all of those because now that I'm not with my my brothers and sisters, I'm, yeah. I'm on my own. You know, on the stage, I'm just standing there. It's like it's very scary. You know, I don't have anybody to uh, look to the side and see if I'm doing the right moves or, you know, nobody's there with me. But um, it, it, it's, other than that, it's been quite relaxing because I'm, I'm not uh, in, I'm not competing with my brothers yes. to have, you know, my tracks put on the album. So so I had time to, to think and, and put down my words, my feelings my, from my journey, my life's journey on onto this album. Now, have you listened back to the finished product and are you happy with, you know, the final result? Yes, last week actually, I, I listened back to the masters version. It was just so wonderful. Well, after it all comes together, then you you have them all mastered to one one level, and you listen to the final product. It's just so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm over the moon, and I'm so pleased with this album. Am I right in saying that your daughter also um, wrote one of the songs for the album? Yes, that's correct. Her name is Hatta Alexis, and she's she's actually. She sings and she plays the guitar and she writes her own tune. Massive MCR fan, and uh, this this tune has an, an MCR, My Chemical Romance kind of feel to it. Okay. Um, so and I love MCR also. So uh, it, it's it's a different little splash to the album. Now, how was that for you? Because obviously your daughter's daughter's very young. So did it bring back memories for you when you had your first taste of making music, seeing your daughter working on your on your album? Yeah, she was. It, it's great because I've got that younger input. She's like, "Yeah, I, I could have sang it better, Ma." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So you uh, said it was fun working with her. So yeah, it's always fun working with her. Yeah, absolutely. Now the, your single from from the album Freefall. Mhm. Mm now tell us a little bit about this song. What does this song mean mean to you? Does it have something that you can kind of tell us a little bit about? Yeah, it's about a, a relationship. It's about getting into a relationship with somebody who has still has feelings for their past, their their last partner, their exes, um, uh, feelings for their ex. So it's it's it, it's it's mainly about that. And yeah, yeah, and it's 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 a different angle on a on a relationship. That that too. That's available on the first of June. Absolutely, yeah. Now that's not long to go. I bet you're counting down the days now till till it's all released. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm actually uh, going on tour with uh, Billy Ocean. I'm, I'm supporting him. Wow. Uh, from May to June. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm in rehearsals right now. Because <laughs> it was only last year you were, you were actually on tour with the Jacksons, is that correct? That's correct, the Unity Tour, which was an absolute dream come true. I mean, to, to sit there front row every sound check and watch them was just a, an amazing experience for me. It was, it's like a lifetime dream come true. So last year it was the Jacksons. This year, Billy Ocean. I mean, you're working with legends every year. Next year, you never know who you're going to be um, yes, on I tour know. with. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it'll be another one. <laughs> now, I've I've got a. Um, I would like to ask you a couple of questions in regards to your kind of days in Five Star. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, you were very young in the band, so as were the Jacksons. So, did you ever kind of feel at a very young age you missed out on certain things as a teenager, or did you just totally enjoy your time in the band? You know, I was talking to my my sister the other day because I mean, my daughter she loves to 
go out with her friends and, and uh, drink, and then, you know, uh, I'd, I'd rather her go out for coffee and have yeah. a meal and then come home. <laughs> they kind of, she, she stays out late, and, and my partner was saying, um, well, didn't you want to do that back in the day? Didn't, you missed out, right? Didn't you want to do that? But it, it's like, no, I didn't want to do yeah. it. Or I, I, I guess I, I liked, I loved the music, and I loved um, uh, finding a new image and, and the clothes I wore, and I was just so into it. I don't think I missed out at all. I can imagine you being a really cool mum. You just have that look of someone that you could be, you could hang out with your friends and have your <laughs> mum around. You look really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> don't say that about me. <laughs> like, no, mum, we got it. It's okay. You stay home. They're two little Americans. <laughs> I, I've got to say, the outfits you guys wore in the band were amazing. I mean, I, I look at different pictures o online, and I mean, they're just so incredible, and you're all in sync with each other, and your dance moves and your routines. I mean, that's what made Five Star, Five Star as such. So do, do you still kind of sometimes, when you do reunite with your um, your family, yeah. put, put those moves back out there? Oh, absolutely. You can't have Five Star without those, you know, the can't wait and the rain or shine and the another weekend routines. They're just amazing routines. My sister did such a, a great job and, and just the sparklies are just, I incorporate that in my act now. I have all, all my shoes are sparkly. I, I decorate my shoes with a, a Swarovski stone. Wow. So I've still got that <laughs> sparkly element. In I there. love that. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys have actually got together, um, you, you've kind of reformed on so, you know, so many occasions, that, but the Rewind Festival, you all performed together. Now, was that a magical moment, having all of you back on one stage? There's no words to describe the feeling that I get on stage with Darth, Lorraine, Del, and Stead. You know, it's just such a magical feeling. Um, I've, I've done other gigs with um, four other members, and they were wonderful, but just to come back with us five, it's, it's just so amazing. And I'm, I'm glad to, to, uh, to know that my dad saw that and felt that before he, he passed away a year and a half ago. And he was just so happy, and I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so glad that we all got back together. It really is a, a magical feeling. And he'd be even more proud to hear your solo stuff and your first ever de debut solo album, which, I mean, I've heard many of the tracks sent to me, and it is, honestly, it's, it's something for everybody there, and it's so modern as well, which, um, when I listened to it, I realised how modern it was and how catchy and how much of the new stuff that's out on the scene were put into this album. So yeah. any age, I think, would appreciate it. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. So when, you, when you're on tour with Billy Ocean, will some of the tracks from the album be, you be performing live? Oh, yeah, yeah, Kiss and Tell... Uh, it's it's kind of like a 60s kind of rock and freak dance and quite uh, Motown that track yeah. wasn't it yeah yeah and also a five star medley and my uh, single free fall well we're going to be playing that in a minute we got it sent to us so we're going to be playing that after the interview wonderful um, so thank you so much I've always wanted you on the show and it's an absolute pleasure to have you on and chat with you thank um, you so much are you going to, are you going to be doing any gigs down the southwest. Southwest. Um, you can check on my website. I don't have the list with me behind it. I should have the list right there. <laughs> but uh, it's on my uh, website, the Denise Pearson official. And so when this tour, obviously, and when you do gig, it's your, you know, it's your individual one. So that must be even nicer, knowing that everybody in the audience have come to see you and come to watch you perform. Yes, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. I'm just going to be so shaky, but... You're excited, um, aren't you? I can tell. <laughs> absolutely excited. And a lot of the fans that uh, were there 30 years ago, are always, they're always there. Whenever if they, can, if, if they can make it down, they're always there in the front row, and it's just so nice to see familiar faces. Do you ever recognise people from, obviously, who, who went to watch you back in the 80s? Is there people there that you look at that you remember, and you're like, oh, my God, I remember you from years ago? Yes, they haven't changed. At the Jazz Cafe, um, just a couple months ago, I, I did a gig in London, and uh, Dor I, I remember them because they used to come down to the gate in Sunningdale. And they just haven't... I said, Dawn, you haven't changed one bit. You know, what the faces are just... <laughs> <laughs> now, what I would love very quickly, if you don't mind, um, just to speak to you about, was a couple of years ago, we did see you perform on, on The Voice, mm -hmm. um, on the BBC. Now, what was it for you that, that made you want to, to go for that? Because that's something different from something that you've obviously done before, yeah. um, being an established artist. So what was it for you that thought, I might give us a try? You know, I was doing, I just came out of Thriller and uh, Respect La Diva, which was a, a, a diva show that ran at the Garrick Theatre right. uh, for about three weeks very successfully. And um, I, I, I'm on my own personal journey and I just wanted to do something 
you know, to reintroduce myself back to the public because it's been, believe it or not, over 31 years, you know, since Five Star was at the top of the charts. And and so I just wanted to reintroduce myself to 11 and a half million people on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I did. <laughs> and, well, and like you said, you had an amazing response and obviously a lot of people were talking about you and, and this has maybe obviously helped the album as well, I would imagine. Absolutely. I've, I um, I got signed by Baronet Entertainment, and that's how the album came about. Awesome. And obviously you are going to be performing over Slope. You're going to be in Brighton, Floral Pavilion. That's going to be on the 9th. And then you're going to be in Nottinghamshire, you're in Shrewsbury, you're in Warrington on the 23rd. So you're all over the place. Yes. Thank God for you. You have all the day. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I'd love to get you on again sometime. I would love to. I'd, I would love to come back. Thank you so much for having me and for your support. Thank you, and we'll speak to you again soon. Take care. You too, sweetheart. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.